Sheffield Cities Council has a range of centres around the country, all of them in stunning locations, which gives great opportunity for schools to access the outdoor environment. All of our centres have the quality badge as part of learning outside the classroom manifesto. The quality badge looks at the quality of teaching and health and safety, primarily in the field. This enables teachers to avoid a lot of paperwork. Our courses cover all the exam boards, OCR, AQA, Edexcel and WJEC. Wolverhampton Girls School have come here to prepare themselves for the AS Unit 1 exam in Physical and Human Geography so we'll be covering lots of the content for that exam in case studies at different locations. They've also come to study the skills necessary to answer questions on the second paper, the Unit 2 exam. The field work sites we use are in stunning locations in the Lake District National Park. Most of the field sites are within either walking distance or a short minibus drive away. Today we're going to be going to a river site um, which is quite close to the centre. We've got several that we go to depending on the weather conditions and what the group have asked for. How the wind moves, that's a lot. The water will do that and you will time how long that takes. This time we're going to go to Keskadale. Um, at Keskadale, the students are going to investigate changes in a river downstream. So they're going to go from near the source of the river and then they're going to collect samples in the water um, at several sites downstream as the river gets wider and deeper. The students are going to make hypotheses about what they expect to find and then they're going to go and test those through their fieldwork. And then afterwards they'll come back to the centre and we'll analyse the results. This is near site two where we were today. So I'll help the students to draw graphs and cross sections and to use statistical analysis to interpret their results. Students will get a chance to study the full investigation process right from the aims and making their own hypotheses through to collecting data using lots of different techniques and reviewing that methodology to find out what were the limitations of it and also the justification for doing it in that way. All of these things will be asked about in the, the second paper of their, of their AS Geography exam. I've struggled a little bit with like learning things and um, coming out here it's helped me understand what my teachers have um, been talking about more and I understand why things are happening. If you're doing a question you'd be thinking, oh yes I remember doing this um, and then you can think about what you've done today and then apply it to you, like exam questions. You can re really see their eyes open and things click into place, everything makes sense, they see the scale of things and um, the, 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 the experience really is of, of huge value to them. The tutors at Blencathra are, um, are superb, they really know the area inside out, they're Background knowledge um, is, is superb. They're very much in tune with the exam boards and the requirements of the exam boards. I would definitely recommend the Field Studies Council. I would definitely um, recommend uh, teachers bringing their groups here for a field trip. Um, the staff are very, very knowledgeable and helpful, extremely helpful. by glacier rather than by the river. And that's why as a real river, sometimes the days are very, very well organised with excellent fieldwork equipment as well and they're very aware of the requirements that teaching demands these days in terms of passing exams. I've been coming to FSC Blencathra now for 11 years. 